Hey, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Saturday. What we're going to be talking about today on the YouTube channel is college aspect of summer programs. Summer programs, I think, are really important when you're deciding what you want to do with your life and what you're thinking about uh, pursuing and kind of uh, sniffing it out, as it were. But before we do that, I want to show you something that I think is equally as important to uh, realize when you're doing your research. I want you to be aware of the zeitgeist. Well, what is zeitgeist? The zeitgeist is what you see there on my little uh, Canva uh, PowerPoint, as it were, but I think that's the wrong word. But uh, this is called zeitgeist, the spirit or mood of a particular time in history. In the spring of 2021, uh, I don't know when you're watching this, whether it be now, whether it be 20 years from now, 2041, 2051, it is important to look at the time period and what you, where you're living. And right now we are at the tail end of a pandemic, COVID-19. And uh, many people are still kind of uh, concerned about going out and doing, uh, exploring and seeing things. And I think this is important whenever you're doing any type of research, realize what is the mood of this particular time in history. The reason I mention it is because uh, even 10 years ago, speaking not just of a pandemic, but even like 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, you never really thought of something called STEM. And uh, everything here in this country in the United States has uh, an abbreviation. Even our country has an abbreviation, the USA. Uh, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And uh, I'm going to flip my camera over so you can see uh, that I put that on my little Canva uh, slide here. As soon as I press the little button here. And you'll notice here science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM. And in my research, I also saw something called STEAM, where you kind of add art to it. Now, what does this all mean? This is the zeitgeist, the, the spirit of the times. Science. Science, we're talking about biology, chemistry, uh, technology. We're talking about cybersecurity, web design, video gaming. We're talking about, um, in terms of engineering, we're talking... Uh, about computer, environmental, so, uh, software, uh, things of things of that nature. Art, uh, that's why I put in parentheses because that's a new creative way of approaching complex problems. And math. You say, well, I don't want to do anything with math. Well, math really is good for entrepreneurship like this. Right now, I am uh, measuring time and how long this video should be. What should I should I add to the video? Uh, I'm trying to have my own quote unquote business by the Louis D. Louis D. Fresh uh, production here. And so math is important in terms of being an entrepreneur. And if you look back on my social media uh, in the tail end of March, beginning of April of 2021, I don't, like I said, I don't know when you're watching this, but you may have to go back in the archives and kind of take a look at what I do on my social media this past week. Uh, again, tail end of March, beginning of April, I talk about STEM versus STEAM. What is it? Uh, we talk about what is, and I'm looking at my notes, that's why I, I, my eye is going that way. Uh, what is a college summer STEM program? How, why attend a summer STEM program? And how to find a STEM summer program? These things are on my social media, and uh, they're quick snippets about uh, this particular video on why summer programs, in, the, in this particular uh, perspective, STEM is so important for you to take a look at. So as we look a little further, I want you to notice here as you're doing your research, no matter what time frame it is, um, again, this is Canva, what I'm doing, uh, it, this could be antiquated by the time you watch this. So you need to kind of, again, looking at your zeitgeist, your spirit of the times, as you're looking for uh, STEM summer programs, what research is in terms of do you have a pandemic? Is there a situation? Do you have something that's keeping you from, from going somewhere else? Uh, so on this case, uh, will you be doing uh, perhaps a summer program so you can learn about college and learn about your career online? Or where will you would like to go? Would you like to stay at home you, for whatever reasons, any multitude of reasons? You may have uh, family obligations. Uh, you may want to look at just the United States because you're like, eh, I'm comfortable with this country. I don't know what else is out there. And you really don't want to for whatever reason. Or do you want to go abroad? Do you want to go and, and, and look at the United States somewhere else and experience a different culture? Or do you want to look at the cost? Costs, don't be afraid. Some of them are thousands and thousands of dollars. But they're, most of them, if not all of them, do have financial aid available. 
And as we continue to check out the STEM... Well, sorry, as we continue to check out the STEM program, sorry, I had a little moment that I don't, I, I didn't realize what just happened. I forgot that this was an animated uh, slide. So that was, that was my fault. That's why I had a little, like, what's going on? Uh, use Google as your best friend. Again, using Zeitgeist, Google might be antiquated by the time you see this, but whatever your search engine is, uh, use it. And I typed in the, quite literally, best STEM summer programs. Uh, when you do that, I want you to take a look at uh, when it was posted, because there are summer programs there that are uh, because I looked at it that are uh, that are actually three, four, five years old. So you're like, ah, that's not what I'm looking for. Check out the time frame. The when when is it that you're free? Do you have time at the end of June? Do you have time now? Do you have time at the end of August? What time is best? When your target audience? Uh, when when? Is it for girls? Is it for boys? Is it for Hispanics? Is it for uh, seventh graders? Is it for 12th graders? And again, uh, location. Do you want to go physically somewhere? Or are you like, uh, because of the zeitgeist, in this case, the, uh, the pandemic, am I going to do it online? As I mentioned to you, I did Google it, and that's why I, I did that slide. And this is the one I decided upon. Uh, I, I kind of liked it. It was called teenlife.com. And uh, I said, let me let me kind of look at this in terms of finding a summer program. And I, and I kind of liked it. So again, that's how you kind of start looking and messing around, finding STEM programs for, for you guys as teenagers. But one last thing I wanted to show you uh, before you start really exploring, um, see where you live. I know I said, well, I know exactly where I live. I live in, in Nebraska, I live in California. But you may not really, and I say this respectfully, you may not know exactly where you are in the country. Like right now, I live here in this lovely area called Miami, even though it's not focusing well. Right there, I live in Miami. And uh, I might say, again, summer, weather really doesn't become too much of a variable. So you may want to say, wow, I may want to go to Idaho. I may want to go to California. I may want to go to Seattle. And it kind of gives you a better perspective on where you're going if you decide to go somewhere else in the United States. And in the interest of not making this video too long, uh, I picked a particular um, summer program, STEM related, and uh, I'm just making sure I was looking at the computer. And I'm just gonna quickly show you what you should kind of be looking for. And I, like I'll show you, I'll tell you why I really like this particular website. This is the one that I, I was looking at that I really liked. It says Loyola Marymount University. Uh, and again, you notice it says Los Angeles, California. It tells you summer program. It tells you about what you're gonna be looking at, biology, chemistry, engineering, etc. And I kind of like that they want to show you a video. And if you click on it, you'll notice that there's a little video. Of, uh, it's an actual YouTube video. Hey, plug in on YouTube. And uh, it, it kind of tells you what, what you're gonna be uh, dealing with in that particular um, program. And last but not least, what I do like is that it gives you here you can request information, which I think is really important, and that you can visit their particular website. And when you go to the website for Loyola Marymount, uh, again, this is a Catholic school in Los Angeles, California. Don't be nervous. If you're not Catholic, they're not going to throw Bibles at you. And they're environmental science. And it tells you, again, I was telling you the time frame, summer 2021. Uh, the, the dates, those dates may be awful for you. You may say, oh, look, it's online. That's exactly what I want. Or, oh, no, I really want to go away. It gives you, gives you a good look at what you will be doing in this particular STEM summer program. And that's it. I don't want to make these videos too long. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really would start to look at the zeitgeist, the moment, what's going on in your history, what's happening in your time, your time frame, your own family situation, and start to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to really do something with myself and explore and become the best person I can be during the summer and not waste my time and just uh, kind of make something better of myself. This is Louis D. Fresh. Make it a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for watching.